Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon office tank. We almost got a look at my pistogramma in there, but he dashed over in the right hand corner and he's now hiding underneath of the power head. That's one of his hiding spots. But today I want to talk about the nitrate level in this tank. When I did a video the other day, I shot a before and after video and I said I wanted to talk about the nitrates in this tank. And I never got around to it really. I sort of mentioned them, but I got distracted by something in the second half of the video. And I never really got back to talking about it. So what I'm talking about in particular is this hygrophila or swamp weed, temple plant, whatever you prefer. And now that it's growing out above the water surface, it has access to much more light and free atmospheric CO2, which allows it to grow much, much more vigorously. And of course, the more vigorously a plant grows, the more food it needs. And in this case, phosphates, nitrates, and other organics that might be in my aquarium is the food. I don't dose, I don't put ferts in, I don't do root tabs, I don't do anything like that. This is au naturel, whatever those fish are pooping out is what is feeding these plants. And that's the case for all my tanks, really. So in this case, I had been watching the nitrate level in the tank, and between water changes, it was going up. And it was getting up into the red, not really extremely in the red, but it was definitely getting up into the red between water changes. And that was over the course of a few weeks to maybe, I don't know, maybe a month, three weeks. Oh, there's my little pistagama hanging out in the back right there. It is a shy fish. I really don't know why it's so sketchy around me. And there it goes into its other favorite hiding place underneath the heater. But we did get to see it at least. Um... Anyway, the nitrate level in the tank was always going up. I would bring it down uh, during a water change. I'd get it down to where it was nice and, you know, comfortably orange. And then after a couple of weeks to maybe a month, it would be well into the red again. And of course, I'm talking about the color of the vial of the test. So I did a big water change the other day. Well, it actually honestly wasn't really that big of a water change. I only had about maybe 25 parts per million nitrate in the tank before I did the water change. The water level was low. I'd probably lost a couple gallons due to evaporation. So I only took about two gallons out, but I put about four gallons back in. And now the nitrates are sitting right there. So we're looking at about 10 parts per million, maybe a little more than 10 parts per million, but it's not 20 parts per million yet. So call it 10 or 15 parts per million, whatever. I'm not doing anything super scientific here. My regular viewers will know that I don't really mess around with all of the writing everything down and all that kind of stuff. I've just got an idea of what goes on in this tank. And I've been sort of following it between water changes for a while while I've been watching this uh, temple plant start to grow. And again, I've always been getting up into the red between water changes and now that we've got this kind of growth going and my regular viewers will know that that video I did just a few days ago with that water change this plant didn't look anything like this this is aptly named swamp weed it grows like a weed it's a really really vigorous grower and if there's any plant that's going to suck some nitrate out of this tank it's going to be this I mean I could hang a pothos plant in here but I honestly don't know which one would gobble up more uh, nutrients, the pothos or this temple plant. I would almost be willing to bet this temple plant would. It's a really, really vigorous grower. So we'll see. I'm just going to sort of keep my eye on it. Like I said, we're going to, um, you know, just sort of watch it over the next week or two weeks, three weeks as we go on. Uh, nothing scientific. I'm not writing anything down. I'm just going to keep my eye on it. So for my regular viewers, you want to burn that into your memory. Get an idea of what we're looking at. Again, 10, 15 parts per million, something like that. And we're going to wait and see. I think at the very least, we will not see an increase if we don't, you know, outright see a decrease in nitrate over the next few weeks. I think at the very least, we're not going to see an increase. So it'll be fun to find out. So make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss that or anything else I've got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget this one here is my 20-gallon open-topped office tank. Thanks again, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.